More than a dozen city police departments in Indiana are nationally accredited, which means they have oversight when it comes to use of force policies and procedures. Muncie Police is not accredited, and this is despite the indictment of five current and former police officers for allegedly using excessive force and attempting to cover it up. WRTV Investigates is looking into why some say accreditation can help protect taxpayers and police officers alike. The Commission on Accreditation for Law Enforcement Agencies is known as CALEA for short. CALEA accreditation means a police department meets a set of professional standards and experts review their policies and procedures. The accreditation process also ensures officers are following those policies. 20 law enforcement agencies in Indiana are CALEA accredited, including medium and large size cities like Bloomington, Carmel, Columbus, Fishers, Indianapolis, Kokomo, Noblesville, Shelbyville, Speedway, and Westfield. Muncie is not on the list. When you see that a, a law enforcement organization, a police department is accredited by CALEA, what, what does that mean in a nutshell? The agency has decided to voluntarily subject itself or to actually to come into compliance with a set of international best standards and had has uh, subjected itself to the scrutiny of independent assessors to verify compliance with those standards. Daniel Shaw, regional programming manager for Kalia's Great Lakes region, says Kalia's standards also include training. Agencies have to um, show proficiency with firearms every year. They have to show proficiency with tasers or electronic control weapons every year. And then for weaponless force, um, training has to be conducted every other year. Accredited police departments have to back it up with data. But these agencies are able to pull together examples to prove. So if they are called into court or, or an officer is sued, they are able to prove that their personnel received proper training. Kalia's standards also have an entire chapter on use of force, something the Muncie Police Department has faced scrutiny over dating back to 2018. Everything from agency employees can only use reasonable amount of force in conducting their duties um, to um, you know, more recent standards that were developed uh, it just due to uh, the needs are uh, restrictions on chokeholds and also uh, restriction on any vascular neck restraints. WRTV investigates obtained Muncie Police Department's use of force policy last updated in July 2020. It bans officer chokeholds unless deadly force is justified. A new law took effect in July of this year, largely banning chokeholds for all Indiana law enforcement agencies and also makes it a crime to intentionally turn off a body worn camera. Muncie's use of force policy also bans shooting from a moving vehicle or at a moving vehicle. One of our standards also requires an annual analysis of use of force policies and practices. And so agencies are continually reviewing and updating uh, their document documentation and policies and their training methods that they utilize based on um, the situations that are occurring in the field. So um, that's another uh, an, another standard that really is quite important to our program. The Muncie police chief has refused our interview requests, but the mayor told us in an email the police department last reviewed its use of force policy in July of this year, and they have no plans to get accredited through Kalia. Meanwhile, the trials for four current and former Muncie police officers are expected to begin on January 24th in federal court. Chase Winkle, Jeremy Gibson, Corey Posey, and Sergeant Joe Krasia were indicted for their roles in allegedly using unreasonable force against suspects and allegedly falsifying records to cover up the misconduct. Mayor Dan Reidenauer took office in January 2020 and watched some of the body camera footage associated with the indictments. Video we've requested but have not yet received. And I looked at the videos. I knew there had been some challenges in the, poli the police department previously uh, with some, a few number of officers, we felt. And I asked to watch some videos. I watched some. And uh, we requested, I requested that some officers uh, be looked at for disciplinary reasons and uh, removed from office. We've started following that process. The mayor points out they've added de-escalation and ethics trainings for officers. To my knowledge, there are no investigations of any actions by the Muncie police 
from January 1st of 2020 on. Getting accredited can cost agencies time and money, but Kalia says ultimately it can save lives, protect officers, and also help prevent costly lawsuits. That's really, it's really essential to, to ensure that agencies are uh, following best practices um, in, in policing of the public. I mean, um, without the trust of the public, as we've seen recently, that it makes policing much more difficult. Working for you, Care Kenny, WRTV. We have asked the Muncie Police Department to sit down with us and talk about its use of force policies, and they have declined. So it is not clear how often they are reviewing their own policies and if they have an outside agency looking at them.